My name is Ricardo Sosa, and I'm an industrial designer working in the field of creative technologies. And I'm going to explain how I came to the field and what I see as key um, issues for the future of this field. So um, the first thing is to say I, I studied design, I practiced design, and over the years I realized that design areas are specialized and they are defined based on what type of ideas and what type of solutions they create. So industrial design, architecture, um, graphic design, communication design, they all have um, a predefined idea of what ideas, what type of ideas and what type of solutions they create. This creates, uh, I, I feel, um, a lot of negative things like uh, dogmas and hierarchies and boundaries and um, a mentality uh, of guilds and what is inside and what is valid and what is not. And to my, from my point of view, in the early 20th century, that made a lot of sense um, to see design that in that way. But today, 100 years later, I feel it, um, it's very constraining. So um, this is how I arrived in the field of creative technologies. I taught myself computer programming when I was 11 years old, and I've been creating stuff um, since then. And when I discovered creative technologies, I thought this is a lot more um, free. It, this feels less constraining in that we don't define what type of solution we, we will find or what type of idea. Um, and it's a very inclusive uh, field that I felt was very attractive. One of the problems, yes, with the field or the, the ways that we need to be careful into the future is that we don't just produce more technology because of the sake of producing new technology. I think creative technologies um, need a very critical and a very informed um, perspective on technology so that we define technology in more broad, uh, broader sense, senses um, and that it's, we are more critical and more skeptical about the uses of technology and also that we are more open about technology and its consequences and who develops the technology and for whom and what does it mean. So we can use technology at the, for, as, as an end, as an output of, the, of, the project, of a project, but we can also use technology as part of the, of the making process and as part of the problem solving process, not necessarily um, we need to come up always with technology-based solutions. They could be less flashy and less um, avant-garde in terms of technology, but perhaps in the means and the ways that we solve the problems, perhaps that's when you use technology. Thank you. Thank you for watching.